What's your name? Oh. I tweet. No, man. <sighs> <laughs> We starting off early. Boy got caught up in some transformer business. What you mean by that? Huh? What you mean by that? I tweet. I don't know, man. Are you going to tweet me? Yeah, I'm going to tweet you. Oh, you tweet me? Yeah, I'm going to tweet you. What you mean, what he mean by that? You know your friend is a man. What kind of... What kind of dumb question was that? The chubby girl looking at him like... Really? And yo ass gonna be like, what you mean by that? It's like, get out. I don't want you. Get I out. Love you, My son's don't. scared of you. I don't care. I'm My sorry. son is scared of you. Look, you see? You see? Do you see him? You see him? She got caught cheating now. She crying. Cry me a river. Oh. Scaring the little boy. I don't care. I love you. Before you was out there getting poked outside of the house, you should have thought about that. Yes. You see him? Okay, then he's scared. So get the f out. Go in the living room or the bathroom. You Stop. Stop. What in the world? See, that's why I'm recording. Because the cops ain't gonna believe this shit. <laughs> yeah, I'm about to say something that I know gonna get the ladies mad. I ain't gonna put it on all the ladies, right? But ladies, you might have a friend that refused to take accountability for their wrongdoings. And they know how to maneuver. They know how to... Out there looking like Neo in the Matrix when them accountability bullets is coming at them. But when it's concrete proof, there's no way for you to dodge them accountability bullets. We have situations like this. You out there losing your goddamn mind. This customer and his wife came in earlier, and they gave me his phone to fix. I was like, all right, give me an hour. I'll finish it for you. I came in the back. I opened it up, and this is what I found inside. Please tell my wife the phone is unfixable. What do you guys think I should do? She want to check the Should call I history. Tell her a hundred dollars is yours. Thanks. iPhone seven. Yeah, seven. I, I don't know. Yeah, 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 I don't For you, but like, I don't want nothing to do with it, okay? Yeah, like, my I, boy. I just feel bad because I want you to know the truth, but it's not. Oh, you a bitch. Oh, my God. Push, 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 push. I don't want to be involved, but you going to snitch. Wait, wait, push, push. You don't want to be involved, but you going to tell her. So now you have to fix the phone for $200. You involved. <laughs> <laughs> Take his man card. None of my business, like, I don't know. Don't about it. This has nothing to do with you. Okay. Nothing to do with you. Okay. Fix it. I know what y'all gonna say. Stop cheating if y'all wanna get caught. I agree with that. But don't contradict yourself by saying, I don't wanna get involved. What you think telling her is doing for you? It's getting you involved. Oh, teacher's pet ass. Oh, teacher, you forgot to give us homework. Ass nigga. Anyway, I mean, one lady, you may have a job, one click today. Shut the fuck up. Don't, don't ever tell me what to do. I should have never bought the liquor. I'm, really mad at you. I'm not mad at you. Don't ever think you have a position to tell me what to do. This mm. is real life. This is real life. They, I'm dead ass. Take that hoodie off and be a man. This is my shit. What, is being, this shit. what is being a man to you, though? You're not acting Tell me. No, 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 no. Don't say anything. Please, please. I just want to hear his response. What is being a man to you? Well, 
I guess. <laughs> Punched everything off. So now, well, your son is being your son. <laughs> I'm going in the room. I'm going outside. Yeah, I'm not. I don't deal with bullshit. Hell no. Nah. Animal. <laughs> Please, bro. Got me fed up. So yeah, I'm in my room. Red flag. I don't know if that's his sister's. I don't know if that's his girlfriend he was arguing with. But that's a major red flag. It's a lot of young boys running around here right now that measure their manhood, their ability to hurt other people. <laughs> Excuse me, I have a question. I have a crush on you for like the last five seconds. What's your name? It's always the fridge protecting the snacks. Yo, that bitch, Bro, it was going good. Quote of the year. Quote of the year. It's always the fridge protecting the snacks. I'm gonna restart the video, okay? And I want y'all to look how she got it from the street when she see them boys coming to talk to her friends. Look at her fat ass. Look at her fat ass. Look at her. Look at her. Excuse me. I have a question. I have a crush on you for like the last five seconds. What's your name? It's always the fridge protecting the snacks. Yo, that bitch, that bitch. I ain't even mean to come at her size like that. You know what I'm saying? So sometimes it don't even be the size. It don't even be the size. Sometimes it be the face. You feel me? But don't be that friend. Hating. You and that bitch like a linebacker. Goddamn Warren Sapp. I could never understand it. You know what I'm saying? It, 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 listen, a lot of y'all hang out with these pretty girls because of the attention that they get. And to be honest with you, a lot of pretty girls hang out with because it make them look a lot better. But at the end of the day, it could be a win-win situation. These guys that's trying to talk to your friends, they have friends. And now, if you exuding this low vibrational energy because you don't get the attention that you feel as though you deserve, you're going to get attention from the friends. It's always a friend that got to take one for the team. And you the one they got to take for the team. It's a win-win for everybody. All right, so if you've been enjoying the video so far, make sure you hit that subscribe button. Make sure you hit that notification bell. Leave a comment. Let me know how you're feeling about the videos. And you know, our next milestone is half a mil, man. So let's get right. Stop playing with me. Baby here, what you trying to do? The real big shorty. Let's go. We in Baltimore right now. We in a DMV. Shorty, say what's up to Bree. What's up, Bree? Ask him, is he trying to go viral? Is she trying to go viral? My baby here, what you trying to do? Hit me out. Hit me out. Hit me out. You know what I'm saying? Um. <clears throat> Come on now. Oompa, loompa, dippity do. Some of these, um, what's the proper term? Some of these little people... They be, they be thick. 22-year-old Arshard Curry seen here in pictures the DA displayed during the news conference. Curry is the fifth of five YBC members, which stands for Young Bag Chasers. The new name is you've been charged. And the newer name is you've been convicted. Crap. <laughs> the DA got jokes. The DA done renamed y'all gang. Fellas, my young black men, please stay out of prison. I've never been locked up. I've never been to prison. I have friends who've been in prison. You know what I'm saying? I got a homeboy, right? My man was telling me a story when he was locked up. He said, when the lights go off, there's two things you're going to hear. You're going to hear crime, and you're going to hear... You're going to hear motherfuckers sharpening blades on the concrete. Imagine that. I got another homie that did time. Years. He was like, when the lights go off, you're going to hear grown-ass man crying on one side of the prison. Because they want to go home. On the other side of the prison, you're going to hear screaming and grunting. Y'all know what that screaming and grunting mean. Okay, I don't gotta explain it. A lot of y'all boys feel as though y'all built for prison. Ain't no guns in prison, man. It's these, it's these. You got some size to you, you feel me? Your knife work gotta be on point. You gotta go up in there and turn into a musketeer. You gotta be Zorro. A lot of y'all not about that. You think you about that, because you in the street. Oh, 17. 17, tell them, tell them the amazing news about you. So I got seven kids. You got what? Seven kids. Seven kids. <laughs> seven different baby mamas. Seven baby mamas. Yeah, I'm trying to have 75. He's trying to have 75. By 75 Lock him up. Lock his ass up and throw away the key. 
You out here with seven kids already. You know what? Let me not judge. Are you taking care of your seven kids? Where's the adults in your life? 17 with seven kids. Seven different baby mamas. You starting early. White woman. Black okay. woman. As well as black, white, Mexican. Okay. You gonna, you gonna be fruitful and reproduce. Now you gonna raise them or? I'm gonna raise them. The mom's gonna raise them. How? That whole ass said the mom's is gonna raise them. I don't got no comment, bro. Because when I say certain things, somebody, some grown ass man is gonna come in my comment section and find a way to disagree with me. No matter how ridiculous the things be. At 17, this man has already created seven broken families. I'm telling you, he's not going. You ain't had my child a whole year. He's not going with you. Come on, baby. Hey, you want to go, you wanna go with me or him? You. You trying to take out. You got to pay child support. Call the police. Come on. Call the police. Come on, baby. I'm sure you go be the baby. Good. Why y'all be doing this, ladies? Not all of y'all. Like, ladies who treat their baby fathers like this. Try to create separation between their kids and their baby fathers because of your ego. Because you were hurt. Because your pride was hurt. Because you realized that pussy wasn't good enough to keep that man around. What's the point of doing this? It's dudes out here who don't want to be in their child's life. It's dudes out here who don't give a damn. They don't know when the last time they child ate, and they don't care. And then you have guys who want that responsibility, who want to be a father. They just don't want to deal with you, and you can't accept that. <laughs> I want you to do it too. Slap me, slap me, slap me. Slap me. Slap me. And then you got your new man jumping in shit that's not his business. You see? Toxic all over. It's like y'all need to get thrown in jail too, man. They need consequences for people that act like this. People that do these type of things. Be careful who you go inside raw. Be careful when you out there shooting the club up. Because you might shoot up the wrong party and have to deal with situations like this. But sometimes you can't even tell. Honestly, you don't really know who somebody is until y'all get in a disagreement or they don't get their way.